my last video was never uploaded. Xenomorphs, so let's just get started. So, um, here's the detailing. But first up, I guess we'll take a look at the articulation first, shall we? Yeah. The jaw can open and close um, around. Sorry. That way. And then you could just pop out the inner jaw. And then the neck is on a ball joint. The shoulders are on a hinge shrivel, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, that is a hinge shrivel. And then there is a bicep swivel. There is also a um, double hinge and double swivel. Now there is a hinge right here at the top portion of the elbow, which allows you to move it up and down and then twist it side to side. At the bottom portion, there is also a Another hinge, and then you could sort of rotate it, and then out as well. And then the fingers, I'm sorry, the hands is on the hinge level. The waist, mine is kind of broken a little bit because it kind of wants to bobble all the time. But I could sort of do like an attack, like if I pop out the little jaw, it would be like him trying to attack or maybe sweep someone in. His legs. Now there is a ball joint right here. Why you ask? Now there is a hinge and swivel right at this portion, but at, right at where it plugs in. But at here, there is another movement right here. Here, there's another motion. There is a hinge. And finally, there is a ball joint. And there is also a hinge finger. Now, there's a reason why my last Xenomorph review was never uploaded. And that will be in the reason why my Xenomorph Mecha video was never uploaded. So, yeah, watch that video. And then the tail is on bendy wire, and the bendy wire actually spilled on mine. And right over here at the tip as well, but the bendy wire is somewhere, and I don't know where it is now, but you can still bend it real nice. For detailing, yeah, let's just go through it here. Now, the Xenomorph is pretty much all blue and blackish color, aside from the teeth and the little side of the jaw. I don't know what it's called, but aside from that, that's it. So, yeah, this is the Xenomorph. Now the price point of this is twenty dollars, but hang on. The figure itself stood at a amazing height, somewhere in between. Yeah, I would say about eight inches. Yes, eight inches. A very nice figure, and that's it of what I can say of the Zeno. So, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I could say. So, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. So, yeah, I may. Forgot the intro and the size comparison.